this game ends up going the distance here simply because Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have an incredibly tense battle here, and it's been very back and forth between these players. Also very close in a couple of the games as well, but somebody walks home with all of $375. There is no prize money for second place here, and someone will be king of the hill by the end of the evening. Spawning in the 9 o'clock position on Catalina as the blue Terran player representing Team Liquid.net. A lot of people said he was firm favorite to absolutely crush this match after 2-0 against Sol Ki and Hyun earlier in the week. But right now, he's being pegged back at 3-3. It's Liquid Bunny. His opponent spawns in the 1 o'clock position as the yellow Zerg player. He has won the hot seat four times in a row and is bidding to win five in a row. This guy has taken home an awful lot of prize money right now and uh, I think he doesn't want it to stop. He's played some incredible games but 3-3, three, three, this is as close as it can get. Can he pull it off? It's my insanity's Petraeus. Well, well, well. This, well, whoever wins this game is on match point, ladies and gents, and they will rest safe in the knowledge that they only have to win one of the remaining two games to be crowned the hot seat king of the hill. Now, we've had the change of lead a couple of times in this match, admittedly. Petraeus went ahead twice, and then Bunny went ahead once. So, uh, we've had two instances where players have won two games in a row, it's entirely possible, entirely possible, that uh, that it goes all the way to game number nine. This Reaper is going to be scouting, and uh, we'll try and see if Petraeus is in this bottom location. He won't actually go past the Overlord, which might make him think he is, but uh, Petraeus is, in fact, in the top right. So it's going to be a little bit frustrating, because that Reaper is going to get there so, so late, and Queens will be out by the time it gets to the north base. So that's going to be pretty nice news for Petraeus here. In the meantime, Bunny, he started off with the Reaper, of course, and then is going to be going into the command center on the low ground. Uh, so not going for CC first or any shenanigans like that. Where is the Queen? Okay, the Queen is there. Wow, the Reaper got there faster than I thought it would. Pardon me. But uh, no workers should be killed in the making of this observing video, I believe as the Reaper is going to be joined by his friends. So John and Bob are going to be chilling out here in the main base. Going to try and pick up a... Oh, and a su I I'm sorry, guys. I'm caster cursing everything here. A worker does indeed go down. John and Bob, after several games of trying, finally get what they wanted. A roast drone stingray barbecue. Uh, very tasty local delicacy, by the way, in Singapore. I highly recommend it if you're ever out that way. And oopsie daisy, another drone going down. Petraeus maybe losing his cool a little bit here in game number seven. Uh, this is not good news as far as he's concerned. Ooh, hang on a second. Both sides actually uh, taking losses as one Reaper goes down. I can't decide if that was John or Bob. I'm going to have to go and take a look at their dog tags. But uh, either way, Reaper has lost his friend. And Tim has wisely stayed at home saying, Nah, dude, I'm not having any of this. Don't even worry about it. I'm just going to chill out and defend back at home. Hey, Bob. Hey, Tim. We decided John's dead. Uh, which is weird, because I'm John. But hey, uh, never mind. Maybe John will make another appearance. And oh, no. More Zerglings into the main base. Both players, guys. If you're wondering what it's like to be a world-class player, but in a really, really tense situation, this is it. You're looking at this going, oh, my goodness, that mistake. How can players of this caliber be making that mistake? When it's a winner-takes-all situation in a show match, and you are three all up, and whoever wins this game goes on to match point. That's exactly how right now. Both players trying to take as much advantage as possible of the other's small mistakes here, and more and more Zerglings are getting pushed in. Work is getting killed in the natural expansion. It looks like Petraeus now, uh, with his aggression, is taking the lead with five workers killed to two. It's 34 drones to 23 SCVs, but don't forget the third command center is about to complete. Do not underestimate a Terran with triple mules, ladies and gentlemen, and the ability to create three SCVs at a time. That's like just under half a hatchery. Zing. Hashtag Kappa. 
But in all seriousness, Bunny is definitely not out of this game. He has been knocked down a little bit, though. And since both players are constantly capitalizing on his mistakes, this is why Bunny's going all out with an attack. He wants to follow this up and go, right, I've been sloppy, but you've also been sloppy. Let's see what we can do here. Excellent triple queen block, killing off one of the Hellions immediately. Is he going to be able to force a cancel here at this hatchery? Only two Reapers and four Hellions. I, I reckon the queens can waddle. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're coming in a waddling, ladies and gentlemen. And Petraeus is determined not to let this base go. We've got a counterattack as well of Lynx coming into the natural expansion. No bunker is up. Those two engineering bays are not going to complete just now. Looks like the SCVs are going to get picked off as well. Ooh. Actually, emergency putting down a supply depot. That's pretty cool. A couple links inside the main base constantly harassing as well. Picking apart a couple more workers. Seven workers killed to two right now. Constant disruption to this mineral line. Bunny is going to be moving back. And I think the game is going to be settling down from here now that this wall is being built. So it's 33 to 39 workers. It looks like things have evened out a little bit. Uh, Petraeus is going for a Roachbane follow-up, though. He is not interested in these kind of shenanigans. You see this third hatch, guys? It's being used right now to produce nothing but army. 16 links, Baneling Nest on the way. Two more Roaches. He's saying, right, we could transition into a macro game. We absolutely could. We've seen this happen before. But we're not, because I'm going to absolutely cane you, is his idea right now. It hasn't been tried so far this series. Bunny, I'm pretty sure, knows what's up right now. He's building a bunker far behind these engineering bays. And the great thing about a Roachbane bust against this is the engineering bays have so many hit points compared to their cost as well so uh i don't know i think this could end up being a situation where the supply depots if he's able to wall behind those bunny has an excellent chance of defending this but this is a very very scary situation as a terran player here come the banelings there goes the first supply depot the bunker is not up yet and if the bunker's not up yet the SCVs are gonna oh dear they're at the forefront more zerglings streaming in there are a decent number of roaches here still and there's a baneling he needs to be careful okay the baneling detonates not all of the marines are out it looks like bunny's just about gonna be able to defend this the bunker complete talk about skin of your teeth bunny is down to 52 supply and 26 workers and once again He's in a position that looks like he's at such a disadvantage. I wouldn't be surprised if Petraeus starts streaming units out. Now, look, that's exactly what he's doing. We've seen it all series long. 20 more Zerglings coming out. He wants to go round two. Bunny has defended against this relentless aggression more than once in this series. And this time we have another variable, guys. We have roaches on the field as well. Is it going to be any different? Bunny being aggressive. He doesn't want these banelings to be knocking down his front door. The zerglings surround the marines, but there aren't any banelings left to counteract. They get picked up in the medevac. <gasps> There's a hole. The zerglings are inside the main base. The bunker is getting surrounded. Here come the banelings as well. Are they going to be able to get those hits off that they so desperately need on the bunker? It's being healed up right now. There is the baneling, and it looks like the bunker is going to hold. Is the bunker going to... Oh, we've got two more bailings. This could be dangerous. They go off on the SCVs. And no, they go off on the bunker instead. There are enough SCVs to repair this. And these roaches alone are not going to take down the bunker. Two more bailings. It's not over yet. And oh god, this is so tense. They go down on the bunker. The SCVs come back and repair it. This bunker. This bunker. And Bunny survives. 51 to 74 supply right now. And we're going again, guys. We're absolutely going again. This is Hyun... This is Hyun-esque by Petraeus. Non-stop aggression. There aren't any more roaches with this army, though. This is just Zergling and Bailings, but there are a lot more Bailings than there were before. He's moving in straight to the bunker now. Is he actually going to get it this time? <laughs> this is insane! I swear Bunny had a higher supply count just now than the number of hit points on that bunker and it still stays alive. This is an absolutely frantic game number seven if you wanted an illustration of how much these players want to win this game. They know how absolutely pivotal this is and oh... Petraeus still staying on top of the ball at home, but his aggression hasn't worked. This time, he's not moving his units out all the way across the map. He's keeping them in defense. He has seen the double drop coming. And the game, once again, for the umpteenth time in this series, I don't know how often I'm going to say this, it's calming down, but for how long? Here comes the drop. A couple of drones getting killed inside the main base, waiting for some roaches to come in as well. There are more banelings. They are waddling over, though, because the layer still isn't complete. There is no baneling speed anywhere close to being on the horizon right now, and it is Bunny's time to be aggressive. Number of workers, 57 to 40, still in favor of our Zerg player here. But this double drop is still dangerous, hovering over the sea over here in the massive, by the way, amount of room he has to maneuver. And it's going to be so, so long now before Petraeus has Mutalisks. The Terran player is most definitely the aggressor right now. Bunny, he's going for the third base. There's another double drop inside the main. 
excellent drops on top of those bailings. Great micro, actually. And sacrificing only a unit or two. We have major problems here in the main base. We have even more major problems here at the third. Is this the part where Petraeus falls apart? He has spent so long in this game being the aggressive player. He managed to get so many of his opponent's workers killed. And Bunny is taking this back. He is slowly crawling back into this game. And right now he's killing all the queens inside the main base. It looks like this hatch might be going down as well. The Marines are just focusing down. They're not caring about the road. Yes, he's done it. GG and Liquid Bunny is on match point. He takes a 4-3 lead in an incredible game number seven. Guys, we're going to be going into what could be the final game of the night soon. But what a series this has been. What a game and what a series of seven games.